Alright, so I have three diddly bows. Just take my word for it. Um, I'm gonna show you one. This is my main one for some reason, no, no real reason. It's not special, it's not superior than the other two. Um, but I use it and it sounds like this. And then if I take a medicine bottle and use it as a slider, I just bought a slider, an, Amazon, an actual slider on Amazon today. So I go like, No, so there's that. Okay, and um, this is basically a throwaway. Um, so you notice the that string is not going to be touching the the balsa wood, whatever it is. Nonetheless, it still can be played, I believe, at least a, as an open note. And if you press, but don't press to the wood. So it's still usable as an instrument. No reason to throw it away unless... See, that's the difference between it touching the wood and it just being bent down here. And I'm just using my finger, maybe with a pick you'd get more sound. So anyways, this is basically uh, my first attempt of creating the uh, the diddly bow, and it is maybe not a failure, but it's a uh, it's it's a it's part of the learning process. So I have the spray paint here. Uh, it's a navy blue. What what does it even say? Molotov Premium Reference Molotov? Street Art. Yeah, it says Molotov. But they don't even care anymore that these things can be used for other purposes. <laughs> but uh, that's its legal name. Um, anyways, I just call it navy blue. Um, and I have this varnish, acrylic base, which gives it a nice shine for guitars and stuff. So my plan now here is to, um, to uh, at least spray paint the neck of the diddly bow, and if not the neck, uh, if not just the neck, also the body. So to do that, I am going to take this uh, paper towel and wrap it around the string, because I don't want to unstring the diddly bow, because I'm honestly, I don't know if I can string it back after it's been str strung or whatever. <laughs> So uh, we're going to skip ahead to be finished protecting the string with the cloth. Uh, so it's going to take some paper towel and grip tape or any kind of tape really. I'll cut. Okay, so now we have the string all wrapped up. We're going to take it outside, which means I'm going to have to wear a coat. And even if the weather was not cold, I would have it's a good idea to wear gloves with the spray paint. So this is what it looks like. There you go. Hello, it's snowing a little bit. So we're outside next to my parents' car. And here is the bow, the diddly bow. It'll rest it on the ground. And I'm going to take my scarf Hope you can still hear me after this. So, there we go. There, okay. So,
we go. Because they got to have my scarf on. Turn it around. I think I have my gloves on. <laughs> Okay, so now That's about it.